Number one, the Carmit Bros. So these are mostly chill guys. They just park and look each other's clean vehicles. They kind of keep to themselves because they don't want to do public lobbies because people with ugly cars might join and ruin the Carmit look. Most of the time, there's like a streamer live, viewers join, and the streamer just spectates the viewers' cars with some banger music in the background. Number two, the cheaters. And these are the kids who were never loved by their parents. They use mods and PC to gain advantages over other players in lobbies, ruining the events also counter players can't use mods right so it's definitely unfair to use any kind of mods in events also why even cheat in card games i don't know number three the noobs one thing that i don't understand about noobs is why look up the fastest money method the fastest cards what happened to enjoying games exploring what happened to discovering the game's features isn't that what the excitement is all about number four the pros also most most of the pro players are also in teams. Getting a team become pro? Question mark. And they usually have their own lines, mostly drifting in areas that are like off the main road. Now, for example, uh, this Springstone map over here, they never drift on the main road like you see right now. They choose to have their own line elsewhere off the map, right? But anyway, their lines are extremely clean, tandems are tight, and they can do that same line for hours straight. Number five, the wheel player. And yes, I am one of them. Although I used to be a controller player in Carrex. Now, wheel players are not the smoothest players in Carrex. Especially when starting out. For me personally, it took a year to drive kind of smooth in Carrex on a wheel. So yeah, on a wheel, we're gonna do a lot of corrections. It won't look as smooth. But hey, it is fun and it is good workout. Number six. The console players. <laughs> I'm sorry. They always seem to whine. But the whining is justified, okay? Console players are always lagging behind when new updates are released. So they show their frustration on the Carrex Twitter post, Carrex Facebook page comments, and even the Steam reviews. Number 7, the hackers. Now with the help of the community and other Carrex content creators, we have banned quite a few of them. But they're like leg here. You shave it off and they'll be back in no time. Number 8, guys who can't park. Now, I understand if your mom yells, Michael, dinner is ready. And and you gotta run downstairs or suddenly, you know, I don't know, diarrhea hits. But at least take a second or two to park your car off the road or leave the server until you're back. Number nine, the toxic dudes. A lot of those in the in-game chat of Carrex. If you care about your mental health, then just disable in-game Carrex chat. You're welcome. Number 10, the Rises. You know, a little bit of tire smoke, Max Camber, a bunch of random stickers, you know the drill. But luckily, we can down liveries from the in-game library now so that has gotten a lot better so now you see them clean liveries except with some really bad tire fitment and some extra stickers that they added which don't really fit with the rest of the livery right number 11 Ooh. the weebs guys who have anime chicks on their cars and now since we got the custom objects in carex as well you now see a lot of waifu pillows and anime figurines on their cars as well number 12 the high beam guys so carex has this default highlight feature which looks like this no way to dim it down without using kina modded headlights if you're on pc you can do that but we're talking about people who use the default headlights which are high beams uh, they join carmies they flash their lights it's annoying blinding everyone just for a bit of attention seek help number 13 the max rev kids now somebody pointed out to me that maybe they have their car sound off or very low so they don't hear it themselves because i cannot understand why would you rev your car 24-7 in garments. It's not like the revs sound like this. <laughs> Instead, Carrex car sounds sound like this. So please stop. <laughs> Number 14. Twitch streamers. Most of the time, if you open up the lobby list in Carrex, it's full of streamer tags and links. But lately, Carrex has removed all servers from the lobby list which have passwords on. But a lot of people have already figured that out and started making public lobbies instead for their streams. It's a win-win. Number 15. The Speedy Boys. These are the guys who are fans of drag race events and grip racing events. Now, Carrex is not all about drifting. There's a lot of people enjoying racing on tracks as well. It's pretty fun. Number 16, the Broke Boys. Players who have not 
paid for the game. Pirating is bad, everybody knows. Luckily, as far as I understand, they cannot access online features. I definitely recommend keeping an eye out on Steam sales for Carex and being able to play online like the rest of us. Number 17, the laggers. Either people downloading something while playing or just having an overall bad internet connection. It does sometimes give us some funny moments, like when you're tandeming with somebody and there's a lot of lag, classic laggers. The turtles, 98 easy and extremely slow guys. Their goal is just to get a big tandem train going, which is a lot easier if the speed is low. Everything kind of looks like in slow motion, I guess. Looks cool. Number 19, the truckers. Just read these comments. Whenever I see the truck, I literally want to leave. Every single time I see a truck, they're griefer. No hate on trucks, by the way. Doing circuit races with trucks is very fun, but trucks in a chill drift server is usually a bad sign, even if they're not rammers. Even even if they're just behind you drifting. The truck is so big that if you're in two person view in front of him, you can't even see your car. And then there's the guys who use trucks to ram people as well, so I can understand the frustration. Number 20, the mobile gamers. It's no secret that Comic started out as a mobile game in 2014 and has been growing their mobile audience ever since. However, for PC and console players, the mobile gamers are like kinda in their own bubble because mobile Comic players can't play with PC and console players together in the server, right? But they're out there. Let me know in the comments if you're a mobile gamer. Number 21, the Supra fanboys. This is a classic one. After all these years, Supra is still the most popular JDM vehicle. Everybody knows about the Supra. Ask your mom, she knows what a Supra is. So be ready to see a lot of Supras, not only in Carex, but in any car related games. The mouse players. These are basically keyboard players, but instead they turn the front wheels using a mouse. So they use keyboard and mouse at the same time. On keyboard, you either have no angle or max angle, right? Because you press keys. But on mouse, you can just adjust the angle as specifically as you want. So it looks extremely smooth. The VR players. And well, you know, I'm one of them now. Playing Carex in VR is definitely an experience. But hey, if you want to see me play Carex in VR, I will link the video in the description. Number 24, the girl drifters. And yes, they're out there. They are real. Here are some Carex girl drifters. Misprint Gaming. This is really close as well. Like any one of us will do it. Oh, whoa. whoa. Hold it. You did it. What? Oh! You actually did it! Kimiko! I have flashbacks from when we tried to take the video on this map. I like how everyone just went down. It's Queen D! <laughs> okay, Clonk, I take my statement back. Clonk, Clonk is 100% innocent. Number 25, the Giga Jazz. And those are the players who have subscribed to Goose. So become a Giga Chat, it's that easy. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and as always, stay sideways. Peace!